if you was the one Put your feelings aside, we can keep this low Feeling your vibe on the regular God sent me a sign from the stars above Had to decide if you was the one Put your feelings aside, we can keep this low Feeling your vibe on the regular What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sass, and I'm back with another one. Straight facts. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to so get notified when a girl posts. And what? What? Last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one and this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one. Of these four days. Do those steps for me and for the whole team. So, as you guys can tell by the title, I am doing a vlog, another vlog slash story time. You already know. When a girl is in the car, you already know I am doing another, you know, talk so sass episode. So, recently went to King Crab ATL. Y'all, if y'all, I told y'all how I am, um, B. Simone and Light Skin Keisha, I love them. I'm telling you, if y'all follow me on, on social media, y'all all know this. Like, I post them a lot. But, I've been watching, um... Light Skin Keisha and Coco Vango. They show their YouTube channel, The Vangos. I love it. I, I be, I'm waiting for them to re, uh, upload another video, but uh, the past like couple of weeks, a uh, week, the past, they uploaded on the 29th. I know it and everything. But the um, past week, I just be watching like re, re, reruns of uh, old videos or whatever. So they put me on this place out here called King Crab ATL. Now, Last time I came, I tried the Juicy Crab and the one on um some right some I, I don't even know how to how to say it, but I know it's around like Cobb County or whatever. Um, what I, I think they have a Subway. I went to a beauty supply store and then like they got a lot of restaurants in that area. Like they got TGI Fridays. I think I saw in that area. So like Cumberland Mall area and um. Yeah, so last time I tried tried the Juicy Crab, and this time I tried, I've got uh, King Crab ATL. So, I'm about to show y'all what is it is. Ooh, y'all, I'm scared to open this because they got juice and stuff everywhere. Ooh. I should have went back to Juicy Crab because they got, they got crawfish. You know, I'm a, I'm a crawfish eater. Ooh. <laughs> So, I'm about to tell y'all story time for when I had a roommate and I found out that she was talking about me. And we almost fought. Yeah, I got the uh, strawberry lemonade. They had this and Keisha tore it up. Like, she drunk this whole fucking thing. And I, I want to see what the hype about. Wait. It is good. It is good. Mm. but so what happened was now i had switched roommates a couple of times or whatever and my last time switching roommates before i i had before i could get a room by myself which you had to have 36 credits or more like be a, a second semester sophomore to get your own room so hmm hmm so, I had got this room, my last room, with a girl, with a girl, and she was cool, or whatever, she was from New Orleans, I found out she was from New Orleans, and she had went to a school that, you know, I knew about in New Orleans, the struggle trying to get this open, I had finally got the little roommate that I had wanted, or whatever, she was cool, from New Orleans, so we knew a lot of the similar things or whatever and she was cool we was getting along very good she had introduced me to a couple of her friends and then we also had like um sweet mates too so we would just hang out or whatever from time to time or whatever i'm gonna insert a clip on when we all was cool and you know everything was peaches and cream and everything was lit so me being you know new to the group or whatever i had introduced her to my friend deja and y'all some snake shit was start, started going on i had left for like a weekend because you know at time i don't think at that time i don't think i had a call and i think some i left from my cousin was going to the same school as me at the time so he had a call and we used to ride home to i mean ride, ride to new orleans together he used to drop me off at home so that was the case 
Let me try to dip this in this. So yeah, that was the kit. Mm. After that, I introduced them to my friend Deja. And I had left for that weekend. And it was saying, I was getting messages saying that Deja was doing a little shady stuff or how she was talking to one of the, my roommate. Um, it wasn't even her boyfriend. It was somebody that she was fucking around with. Somebody that she was, you know, quote unquote, you know, fucking around with on campus. So I was getting text when she texted me. My roommate had texted me and said that she was um my friend Deja was doing little stuff and how she not about to start how she about to stop fucking with Deja. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. So I text Deja and I had asked her, uh, I think we had talked when I got back to school. I don't even I don't remember what happened. But I text my friend and I asked her, that butter sauce with this little all all sauce up in here is so good. So I texted her and I asked her, you know, what was going on, what had happened. She was like, they've always drinking or whatever. And Malik, mm -mm, I'm saying the names. But they all was drinking. And the dude had asked her to grab her butt, uh, grabbed her butt or whatever the case may be. But she didn't realize it because they were drinking and playing around and stuff like that. All of them. And it was about baby four of them or whatever. So I'm like, well, okay. So after after that, when they figured that, you know, I wasn't going to stop being, they used to talk about my friend. And I had to let it be known, like, just because y'all don't fuck with her, that's fine. I brought her to the group. You know, I'm that is my friend. That's been my friend since high school or whatever the case may be. My people know her people we damn near like you know and we dance together we dance sisters too no so i told them i had made it clear if y'all don't fuck with her that's fine or whatever but i guess they felt some type of way that i wasn't gonna pick their side over you know little girl shit so they started acting you know different so baby i caught on to it and i don't know it started getting like weird so, I felt like she was talking about me, my roommate. I felt like she was talking about me or whatever. And little stuff that used to be said or what was said and certain things like that. I don't know. I just, I, you know how you got that gut feeling? So, I didn't have proof of it, though. So, my other friend had told me to know if they're talking about you is to... If I had a laptop, or if I had a laptop or some type of tablet or something like that, to leave the voice record on, but make sure like it's turned over or like the light on, but make sure it's recording. And at that time, I had like a little Acer. It was like a, it was small, but it, that 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 thing was holding some memory. And I left it on. We was attempting to go swimming on campus or whatever, and I left it on for maybe about an hour. And she wasn't saying nothing, whatever, the whole little hour up until the last part. I had to listen to the whole recording. So, um, maybe like the last little 15 minutes of it, she started talking about me and they started, and they was laughing. Uh, she would, uh, they would talk about me and she would laugh. And, um, it was saying how I had a hole in my tights or whatever. Now I had just, it was not a hole in my tights. It was some pants, some little workout pants that I had. It was black. And my, when I washed my clothes with my dad. I ain't even about to explain it, but I had a hole in the pants. And she was talking about how one of the girls was talking about how I had a hole in my pants or whatever. And then my roommate was like, how I'm always talking about why I'm, I'm always dancing, whatever. I need to sit down somewhere. Look, girl, shit. Like, it was petty shit. And I just knew she was talking about me. So, damn. See that? But. So I said, I asked, I went in the room and I asked, I said, what you talking about me when I was gone? She said, girl, nobody was talking about you. And I said, well, that's not what you're recording today. And so we had a whole meeting about this and my roommate felt bad or whatever. Cause we was cool. Like I would call her. I will say that was really one of my, that could have been like a potential best friend, you know, cause I, I don't know, I'm real clingy and I hold like a friendship, like for real, for real, like 
I am the girl that, you know, I love people. Like, I don't know what it is. And I open up to people, like, but that's my ass. So, um, she, what happened? So, we had a whole lot of meat and my friend D had, you know, said or whatever. They was, they was talking about my friend Deja or whatever. It was like, um, you know, she not going to stop being friends with her or whatever like that. And my assumption was she was talking about me. I would love them. So, one of the girls, Peaches, I don't give a fuck to say the damn name, but one of the girls, Peaches, she felt some type of way because I caught out her bullshit, her bullshit, and I said, oh, y'all fake as fuck. Y'all fake as fuck. Y'all fake friends. Like, who does they? And it was like, oh, we fake. We fake. And so, the girl, Peaches, she wanted to get bowed it, bowed it, whatever. And so, um, my friend, D had, she was like the mediator, and she had asked her to leave out the room. And the girl, Contera, I called out. I called everybody out on this shit. And so Contera got out and slammed the door and was like, fuck y'all, whatever. Case may be. That's fine. But I'm going to let y'all know. But that wasn't even all because my real issue was with my roommate. So we had, um, I don't know how this happened. Oh. Oh, if I could find these fucking oh, Let's if, I find go them, see if I find them, I'm going to put them in, in, in yes. the video. But she texted me, y'all. Yes. She texted me. Because <laughs> she fucked up. She fucked up on her end. And I'm telling you, we was like really like building this close-ass friendship. So she texted me. She said, you know, I'm really sorry about what happened. Um, My apologies. I want to make it up to you. So she was like, let's go get crawfish. This was like three summers ago. She was like, let's go get crawfish and um, my tree and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, fine. So we set up a time and we set up a date. And we talked and she said she's sorry. And, you know, stuff like that. But afterwards, after that, it still was a little fishy. Like, it still was petty shit going on. So all in all. I just had to stop fucking with her. I just had to stop fucking with her. And I would say from time to time, and she'll she feel like she want to speak, but I wouldn't look her fucking way. And then it started being vice versa. Um, It was one time I had, I felt like she started being sneaky because we used to go home all the time together. She had a call. I think she had got a call, uh, had a call before me or whatever. She the only child. I mean, I, I, got, I got three other siblings. So... Uh, her parents had got her car and I think she had the call and we stayed around we stayed like literally like five minutes from each other so she used to whenever she go home I used to go home with her and one I think a couple of times or maybe like two or three times I had asked her for a ride home and she would say no she don't got no gas and then I get on snapchat and then she on at home I'm like yeah so that was that was it and after that, I felt like I wanted to fight for real. Cause I felt like I was being tried. Like I was like, mm mm. I felt like she was putting on my intelligence. Like playing on me. Playing on me hard. And I wanted to fight. For real. But I grew from it. And from time to time I had eight so I used to be like, you know, what's your issue with me? Because <laughs> I'm straightforward, y'all. I'm straightforward. I'm blunt as fuck. And so I asked, I said, what's your issue with me? And she was like, she don't got no issue or whatever. If I can find the messages, I will put them in the video. So I promise you I am. So um, I asked her, I said, what, what, you got a problem with me or something? Like, I, under, I don't understand. Like, I thought we moved past or what we did. You was doing some grimy ass shit or whatever. But um, I let the past be the past or whatever. And whenever I see you, because we used to see each other all the time. Like, we both was nursing majors. We both did, like, pretty much everything together. So, you shrimp is bossing. So, when I used to see her, she'll look my way. i look her way. And we not speak. Like, we never even knew each other. To say this was a close, close friend. So, now we cool with college or whatever like she um recently had said that she was graduating in december from nursing school i switched my major 
because nursing school ain't no joke at seven. Shit, complex as fuck. But um, I've been switched my major. But I told her congratulations. This was yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. And then she'll get on my live and say hey. Sometimes or whatever. Whenever she on live and stuff like that. Call you or whatever. I speak. We speak to each other. Um, she just was on my live. Was that yesterday? Yesterday I got on live and she was on the. And then right after that, I told her congratulations on her little graduation thing, whatever. And that was that. But that was a little story time. I'm telling y'all. To find out for a person that's really like grimy and really sneaky, son, I'm telling y'all, they got like some good ass, like do some good ass investigation because people will try to play on your intelligence. Like people will really try to, what that what the term is, hold you. They gonna try to hold you. <laughs> I don't use that, but they gonna try to play on you. That's a New Orleans saying, but yeah so um let me eat i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all stay tuned for more lit content on the way and more collabs on the way hmm anyways um yes to the new people that have subscribed thank you for subscribing um make sure you tell a friend the fr make sure you tell a friend that friend that friend your mama your daddy your uncle your brother your cousin baby mama baby daddy <laughs> All of that in between to subscribe to Life of Sassy and come join the plush gang, gang, gang. And until then, we out. <laughs>